Hi, this is Mrs. Hasmer, and today's lesson is on equivalent ratios. This is a sixth grade lesson, lesson number three. It's from module one, pages S9 to S12. All right, the first part, it asks you uh, to write a one sentence story about a ratio. So an example might be, three bananas to two apples. Okay, and then write the, you would write those words in here, and then here you would write the diff, two different ratios for, for it. I mean, two different ways to write it. So, okay, don't forget, dots and then the two or the colon. Okay, so now we are in an exercise two. We're on page S9. Shaney and Mel are using ribbon to decorate a project in their art class. The ratio of the length of Shaney's ribbon to the length of Mel's ribbon is seven to three. So draw a tape diagram to represent the ratio. So in your books, you should write or make a tape diagram. You could just put S for Shaney and M for Mel. I did it for you um, if you are online. Okay, page 10. Mason and Laney ran laps to train for the long distance running team. The ratio of the number of laps Mason ran to the number of laps Laney ran was two to three. Two, Mason, three, Laney. <coughs> A says, if Mason ran four miles, how far did Laney run? Draw a tape diagram to demonstrate how you found your answer. Okay, so if Mason ran four, one, two, three, four, how many did Laney run? One, two, three, four, five, six. Put your number here, six miles. Okay, this is B, page 10. If Laney ran 930 meters, how far did Mason run? Draw a tape diagram to determine how you found the answer. Remember, Mason, two laps, Laney, three laps. What do we know? We know that Laney ran 930 meters. How can I find out what Mason ran? If I divided three into 930, I would have three equal parts of 310 meters. Okay? So, to find out how much Mason ran, I could put 310 and one, 310 meters in the other, add those two numbers together, and that would give you how far Mason ran. Okay, we're on page 10. C, what ratios can we say are equivalent to two to three? Okay, so two to three and four to six. Exercise four, we're on page 11 now. Josie took a long multiple choice end of the year vocabulary test. The ratio of the number of problems Josie got incorrect to the number of problems she got correct is two to nine. A, if Josie missed eight questions, how many did she get correct? Draw a tape diagram to demonstrate how you found your answer. So two wrong to nine correct. And if she had uh, missed eight questions, I, what would I have to multiply the one she got wrong by to get eight? So if you said four, you are correct. So four times two is eight. And if I multiply this by um, four, I also need to multiply the one she got correct by four, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times four is what? Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little hint. Okay, if Josie missed 20 questions, how many did she get correct? Draw a tape diagram to demonstrate how you found the answer. Okay, so what can I multiply two by to get 20? So I can find out how, you know, how many she got correct and how many wrong. 
2 times 10 will give me 20. So I need to multiply 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 by 10 to get my answer. Okay? C, what ratios can we say are equivalent to 2 to 9? Look at your answers for A and B. D, we are on page 12 now. Come up with another possible ratio of the number Josie got incorrect to the number she got correct. So remember, for every two she got incorrect, she had nine correct. Okay, so you can multiply both these numbers by the same number, whatever number it is, and then whatever that answer is, that will give you um, a correct answer. E, how did you find the numbers? So explain how you found them. Say I multiplied two by, if you said five, and I also multiplied nine by five, and then F, describe how to create equivalent ratios. So you, if you've been in class, you know that I told you, I usually try and just, if they ask you for two or three of them, start with two, three, and four. So I would multiply both these numbers by two, and that would give me a ratio that's equivalent. I'd multiply both these numbers by three, that would give me another equivalent ratio, and then four if they ask for that many. Go with the smaller numbers, but you could be that one student that wants to multiply them by 100 each, go ahead. <laughs> okay, we are on page S13, it's homework. Problem set. Number one, write two ratios that are equivalent to one to one. So, an example, if I multiplied it by two, I'd have two to two, okay? Then they would be equivalent. Number two, write two ratios that are equivalent to three to 11. I would probably start with two again and multiply both those numbers by two. You'd have another equivalent ratio. Number three, A, the ratio of the width of the rectangle to the height of the rectangle is blank, blank. Okay, so width, how wide, and one, two, three, four is how tall it is, the height, right? Height, width. So if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I know the width is nine to the height is one two three four okay okay we are still on page 13 we are on B for number three if each square in the grid has a side length of eight millimeters what is the width and height of the rectangle okay so remember we said the width and the height. We already have it, 9 to 4. So if I multiply both these numbers by 8 millimeters, it will tell you um, your ratio, your equivalent ratio. Number 4, for a project in their health class, Jasmine and Brenda recorded the amount of milk they drank every day. Jasmine drank 2 pints of milk each day, and Brenda drank 3 pints of milk each day. A, Write a ratio of the number of pints of milk that Jasmine drank to the number of pints of milk that Brenda drank each day. Okay, we are on page 13, number 4B. Represent the scenario with tape diagrams. Okay, so 2 to 3. I did it for you if you're at home. Um, four, C. If one pint of milk is equal to two cups of milk, how many cups of milk did Jasmine and Brenda drink eat, uh, separately? So Jasmine drank how many cups of milk and how many did Brenda drink? And how do you know?
All right. 4D, write a ratio of the number of cups of milk Jasmine drank to the number of cups Brenda drank. E, are the two ratios you determine equivalent? Explain why or why not. Hint, they want to know if two to three is equivalent to four to six, okay? All right, thank you.